China-based cybersecurity firm Slow Mist has confirmed that a recent double spending vulnerability it found in Tether USDT is not inherent to the cryptocurrency itself. Instead, it is enabled by some crypto exchanges databases not strictly verifying the status of the valid parameter of incoming USDT transactions. Slow Mist explained this in a comment to its own tweet June 28. On June 28, Slow Mist detected a vulnerability that allowed them to send USDT to a crypto exchange without correct field values on the transaction. Subsequently, the cybersecurity firm explained that the newly discovered vulnerability is not an issue of the Tether network, but is instead a result of poor implementation of some exchange's data systems. According to Slomis's statement, the issue is that the exchange's databases do not strictly verify the status of the valid parameter. Corrected a bit to explain. This vulnerability is not the USDT's own vulnerability, but some exchange platform databases do not strictly verify the status of the valid parameter. Please do not panic. Major crypto exchange OKEX reacted immediately to slow misreport, claiming that its platform is not affected by this issue. Slow Mist further retweeted a post by the Omnicore maintainer which provided further information about the vulnerability. Omnicore claimed that the vulnerability comes from neither Tether's part nor the Omni Layer protocol, but rather poor handling of incoming transactions created in 2012. Omni Layer Formerly known as MasterCoin, is a digital currency and communications protocol based on Bitcoin's BTC blockchain. Tether, originally known as RealCoin, is a stable coin pegged to the value of the US dollar. It was announced in July 2014 and later issued on the Bitcoin blockchain via Omni Layers protocol. On June 25 this year, Tether issued 250 million new tokens, a move that was met with some backlash from critics on Twitter who have expressed doubts about the fact that all USDT tokens are backed by the same amount of US dollars. Please subscribe to get more video news from Channel HK Reading Book. Thank you.